Hello, and welcome to the 2020 Fall Statesman Concert. Whether you're joining us live or watching at a later time, we're grateful to have you with us as we mark the successes and journey of this semester. While much of our time was spent divided this season, splitting into groups of 12 singers or less to stay safe in the face of COVID, the statesmen remain united in their dedication to community, to excellence, to pride and sensitivity. This stream is a compilation of recordings, behind the scenes footage, and interviews taken over the last three months. Some virtual, some live in the choir room, some even recorded outside on a rare, warm, late October afternoon. We hope you enjoy this concert. The first piece on the program is an arrangement of the Appalachian hymn, Sweet Hour of Prayer. This was the very first tune Statesman sang this semester, and its words symbolize the power of music, of communal singing, to soothe our cares in times of hardship. Brotherhood. 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 Passionate. Brotherhood. Energetic. Passion. Brotherhood. Brothers. Family. I would say camaraderie. I would say fun. <laughs> Unity. Family. Brotherhood. 
Brotherhood. Home. Perseverance. Pride. I'd say brotherhood. Proud. I'd say family. A camaraderie. You should expect to work hard and have fun. Happiness and a good time. Expect the unexpected. Expect only the best time you could ever have in a choir. Expect the unexpected. Expect chaos. Expect to be learning a lot of things from past years. Expect your brothers will always be there for you. Be prepared for the energy. Be ready to have some fun and work hard. There are um, guys around you throughout the sections from very different walks of the university that have your back. Be ready for anything. Have fun and sing to your heart's content. Dive in with both feet. Be ready to be overwhelmed with fun. Be prepared for anything. Be prepared to have some new family members. A lot of high impact energy from a lot of the members. Expect the unexpected. There's nothing else to it. We really care about what we're doing. You should expect loyalty. Uh, everybody loves each other and everybody's there for the same reason, the same purpose. The program continues with a Latin motet, Tantum Ergo, by French composer Charles Gounod. A beautiful example of the romantic tenor bass choral tradition, this piece is a study in listening, in dynamic contrast, in phrasing, and shaping.
Yeah, COVID has changed a lot it, it, in, in every aspect of our lives, but especially in statesmen. This is a group that depends on being with each other. We thrive when we're together. Um, statesmen are happiest when they're with other statesmen. And so when we're in this period of time when we can't, um, there is that, that barrier of we, we can't all sing together, you know, and when we do, we have to be outside and spaced out and it makes it hard to see, listen to each other. It, it, those difficulties and those frustrations are very real. On the contrary to that, Statesman has found ways to thrive during this semester. Um, our, our online um, activities that we've done, the virtual choir activities that we've done where you can um, on your own do take after take after take until you get exactly that sound you want and then to be able to put those voices together and adjust levels and everything like that it's um it almost feels like cheating right? because because there it removes that that live that raw nature of it to, to do a digital performance but at the same time it adds um, a new challenge you have to be expressive on your own um, and so i think statesman has managed to take this very tough time and turn it around to improve ourselves as musicians, improve the group, um, and going forward, I think bringing the skills that were necessary to make these, these digital recordings work, if we bring those same skills forward and add in the energy and rawness we can get from a live performance, we're going forward into some of the best years states could ever have. The next piece on our program a choral arrangement of Schubert's famous Earl King is the first of two virtual recordings appearing on this concert. This project represents the true spirit of virtual collaboration, featuring solo and choral contributions by our students in Wisconsin, backed by a piano track recorded by a musician in Texas, set to an animation by an artist in Germany, with additional animation and sound design provided by two members of the Singing Statesman. Our recording was first premiered on Halloween, and before we reprise it for you again, I'd like to share a backstage look into the virtual world that made choir possible this semester. In the last few months, we have rehearsed over Zoom, used NoteFlight and Bluetooth speakers for rehearsal tracks, distributed music through Airtable, and recorded and edited virtual choir projects using Soundtrap and Adobe Premiere. Our performances were recorded individually on smartphones, tablets, iPads, and computers in dorms, lobbies, cars, basements, and offices amidst the activity of school, pets, work, and family members at home. I want especially to thank the student workers and volunteers for their countless hours gathering footage, setting up and tearing down equipment, compiling and editing tracks, and creating animation and sound design for our various projects. Mein Vater 
und hörst doch nicht, was er in Kalemileiso verspricht. Sei ruhig, bleibe ruhig, mein Kind, in den Blättern säuselt so der Wind. Willst du von der Knabe, du mit mir gehen, meine Tochter? Sollen dich warten, schön, meine Tüter in Führen, die Knecht liegen rein und fiegen und tanzen und singen die kein. Sie fiegen und tanzen und singen die kein. Meine Vater, mein Vater, und Sister, ich tat, er könnt hallo, los, da, Meine Sohn, meine Sohn, ich seh es genau, es scheinen die alten Weiden so grau. Ich liebe dich, mich reizt deine schönen Gestalt und bist du nicht willig, so braut ich Gewalt. We're a bunch of guys having a good time singing songs together. We just like to have fun. There isn't any obstacle that we cannot overcome, so long as we do it together. Everyone in this group loves you. Everyone in this group does love you, and we all love each other. We are a brotherhood. There is a method to the madness. It is open and accepting of any musicians that are passionate of any identity. We really appreciate your support. It's a great group of guys and they all put so much effort into this and we really just really hope you enjoy it we don't bite we do practice social distancing everybody did their part to make this semester possible we are very committed to this group we're stronger than ever we learn every song by making jokes about it we love our traditions the amount of dedication to the ensemble is unprecedented how much time and effort we put into it a lot of behind the scene work. This is an amazing ensemble. Put time, effort, and emotion into our music. Whatever fun we may be having on stage, times that by 10, and that's what we're having in rehearsal. In the second part of the semester, Statesman picked up barbershop music. This turned out to be the perfect repertoire for building some momentum this semester. The four squads were split up into various rooms across the building and were being self-run by student leaders. It was a pleasure for me as a director getting to walk from room to room and watch them giving each other advice on intonation, on style, on projection, and on vocal issues. In this next portion of the concert, you will hear one piece from each squad, three of them being large squads, and one of them getting to experience the true barbershop tradition of a quartet. Oh. 
Well, barbershop is something that you can take home and listen to again and again. It's something that completely changes your mindset when you listen to it every single time. I think barbershop is a way to um, connect with music that you haven't done before because it kind of puts you on the edge of your seat and then back again. It's almost like a roller coaster to me. I think it kind of shows our versatility and what we can do as a choir. I think it always has existed because we like to be who we are. You know, at the core of us, we're statesmen. We like to have fun, we like to be engaging. But at the same time, we like to focus on, on our music. Um, I think barbershop is just a way that we can all enjoy. And it's like, we just have that little piece every semester. It's just like, yes, it's barbershop time. And then, you know, we'll do other things. And then like, yes, it's another barbershop time. I think it's just a way to like, keep our energy flowing and just feel the music. It's always, it's always fun. It tests the power and the range of your voice. It tests the limits of what you can do. You're forced to learn all these new techniques. Uh, I know when we did the first big statesman piece, I think it was Jeannie with the light brown hair with Carlos, and the difficulty learning it, but the fun we had learning it was just amazing. So it's just so much fun.
COVID has created some very interesting, unique circumstances that would not have happened without it. We would have never done any of the virtual choir stuff that we have like learned to thrive in. We wouldn't have done any of the small squads that a lot of like people have been learning a lot from. Um, like I know I personally, I, I've led my squads a couple times and like every experience has been great. And I've seen my peers lead the squads and it's incredible every time too. I think last fall when, when everything was quote unquote normal, we, I wouldn't say we took this, this choir for granted, but we didn't know how much it meant to us until we were all separated and had to spend all of those months apart and doing Zoom meetings. So I would say in the year that I've been here, as it has been marred by the COVID pandemic, we've all learned that this is a gift we don't get to do this for our whole life. This is a once in a lifetime opportunity to be in a choir as prestigious as this one. And now I think we're all working really hard to savor the, these moments and be closer together as brothers. I've learned what it's like to be part of a group that is so much more than just a group. I've learned what pride and sensitivity means. I've learned that I have a lot of brothers from other mothers. I learned what the true depths of love and compassion are. I learned of a lot of new friendships. I learned confidence in my ideas. I learned leadership. I learned to listen. I learned to be yourself in all situations. You know, everyone's gonna be there for you whether you need them or whether someone else needs you, someone will be there for you, so. I've learned that making music and being in harmony with other folks doesn't always mean that you're gonna agree with each other, but means that you're always gonna be there for one another when it really counts. Choirs can be like a family. A brother doesn't have to be someone you're related to. How to work hard, but also have fun while you're doing it. You don't have to be together in person just to make good music. Everyone has a story. Everyone is able to feel comfortable and who they are. Choir can be something so much more than just singing. You have more in common with people than what meets your eye. And how to fake that I know 30 pages of German. Pride and sensitivity while performing. Camaraderie with everybody. How to learn songs without actually being in person. Learning 30 pages of German. So everyone comes from different stages musically. Being a statesman is more than just singing in a metal choir. It's about hard work and being dedicated. The act of being in a group with other people and doing something with those people can be immensely helpful for your mental health. People come from all walks of life and no matter what, you can be friends with anybody. We will close the concert with a virtual recording of Christmas Angel. 
Statesman began working on this piece back in October in preparation for the virtual rendition of this year's annual holiday concert. We hope you enjoy. Oh, how I wish I could sing like an angel. I'd sing carols so high and sweet. Oh, if I had the voice of an angel, I'd be singing that sweet child. On behalf of the Singing Statesman, I'd like to thank you all for attending this choral stream. This concert would not have been possible without the efforts of Avery Burns and Jose Pena, our tireless choral assistants, as well as Chase Buheger and Christopher Gale for their audio, video, animation, and technical expertise. I would like also to thank the Music and Theater Arts Department, the Voice and Choral Area faculty, the University of Wisconsin-Eau Claire administration and staff, as well as all of our patrons, students, friends, and families that continue to support the efforts of the Coral Area. <laughs>